اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In the last session we assessed how to specify a measurement model like this where we had five constructs and each of the construct was specified using the constructs function In this session we are going to look into how to specify the structural model in R Now moving on what's the next step as you used to do in smart pls now this is my measurement model now these two are part of your measurement model these two constructs now in smart pls in order to develop the relationship we just add this connect button here from here that's it but in seminar we have to tell r that this is the structural relationship now once you have specified your measurement model the next step is to specify your structural model now how do we do this With our measurement model specified, we now need to specify our structural model. When the structural model is being developed, there are two primary issues that need to be considered: the sequence of the constructs and the relationship between them. Now, both issues are very critical to the concept of modeling because they represent the hypothesis and their relationship to the theory being tested. Now in most cases researcher examine linear independent and dependent relationship between two or more constructs. Now seminar makes structural model specification more human readable, domain relevant and explicit by using these functions. Now what we do is we use these functions to specify the relationship. Now what we do is we can have or we develop path. Now how are these variable linked to each other? so they are linked from these to these now where from is your independent variable or list of independent variables to is your dependent variable or list of dependent variable now how do we do this in seminar now we are going to use the path function why are we going to use the path function because there is a relationship between these three constructs and now this should have been collaborative culture Now how do you specify your structural model So again we are going to put our model into an object and in this case the object is called simple sm and this simple sm holds relationships and those relationships are defined using these paths Now in this case we have a simple model where we have got three ivs linked to one dv Here simple sm is an object which stores the relationships in the study now these relationships can have multiple paths 1 2 3 so in this case we've got three paths now there could be multiple paths as well now more complex examples will follow so let's copy it and in this case we've got three ivs one dv so the paths are from vision development and rewards to just one dv collaborative culture so let's put it right click copy and this one will go here now we have specified our structural path as well or structural model run no errors so the structural model is done now you have built this model or something like this rather here we have only vision we could have added the other ones as well but here now we have got that model Now the next step we normally do in smart pls is we just go to calculate and pls algorithm but in r we can't do that now how do you do this how do you click this button in r now up till now what we have done is we have loaded the library we have created the measurement model like this we have we have specified the simple measurement model and we have defined all our constructs like this this is our vision this is our development this is rewards and this is collaborative culture and then we have created our structural model where the paths are from these three independent variables to this dependent variable in the next session we are going to specify how to estimate a pls algorithm as we normally do in smart pls by just clicking this button thank you very much